how to use Prezi, full Prezi tutorial. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with Prezi. Now, Prezi is an online tool that allows you to create amazing presentations and amazing artworks. And this can be great, especially when you're trying to elevate your business or your content. Now to get started with Prezi, simply click on get started on the top right. And then you're just going to sign in. I'm going to log in with my Google account to make this process a bit more seamless. And I'm just going to click on continue. And now I'm just going to log into my account like so. And one thing about using Prezi is that it allows you to create with AI. So a lot of times if you're in a rut and you are trying to create a presentation instantly, you don't have to worry about manually having to do everything. You can create with AI as well. So you will see once you log on to Prezi, you have three basic functions. You can create presentations, you can create and edit videos, and you can also create infographics. Now we're gonna get started with some presentations. So I'm gonna click on presentations and then I'm going to click on create with AI to show you guys the benefit of using an AI tool to create your presentations. And unlike other tools, Prezi actually does do a very decent job in matching your presentation content. So first off, I'm going to give it a presentation title. So I want this to be a presentation on apples why not and i'll click on continue and then i will give a quick brief about what type of presentation i want this to be so for this i want this to be a presentation on apples the way they are farmed history as well as let's say nutrition like this. Now, one thing to note is that you can skip this step and just directly proceed with your title. But if you proceed with just a title, it just does not generate content as accurately. It could take the direction of my presentation into a whole different one as compared to what you might have thought. So that is why it's really important to give it some brief about what you want your presentation content to revolve around. Once you do that, just click on generate. And once you click on generate on the bottom right, you're going to see it's going to display. I'm creating your presentation now. Here's a sneak peek. So we're going to wait for a couple of seconds for our presentation to be completed. And on the right, you will see the AI is going to be putting together ideas on your presentation. So the first section is the history of apples, the nutrition, apple farming practices, and you guys can see within that each individual slide is even labeled. So this is going to be the first slide, which is the origins of apple cultivation, evolution, role of apples, and much, much more. So I'm going to wait for this to be completed. And once this is completed, I can proceed with editing. Now you can see on the right, this is going to provide you an overview and you can just click on go to the first frame to look at the first frame and you will also see the color palette that it has used. Now, personally, I don't like this woody color palette, although it works well with apples. I just personally don't like it. So I'm going to alter the color palette and I don't like any of these. So I'm going to click on the sparkle icon on the top right. And then the AI will generate some different color palettes that I can use. And I think I like this green one. This is really subtle and nice. But I'm going to proceed with this one over here. After that, we also have the background so we can alter the background as well. If you want to add an image or keep a solid color. Then after that, you also have the design. Now in your design, you have a couple of different options. And personally, this design looks all right, but I can also alter it to maybe this design. So this is a different type of design that is being used. And I can even use another one. And you can even click on the sparkle icon to view different designs. And these just help you gather your content in a really nice way. So I'm going to generate more designs so I can show you guys the different layouts you could follow for your presentations. So we're going to wait for this to be loaded up and you guys can see there are quite a few different options available. We also have this one. This is environmental. 
And I think this one looks pretty nice. It's it's very cohesive with the color scheme I want to follow. So I'm going to go with this one. And then after that, we're going to click on go to editor on the bottom right. Now, once we've done that, we can click on the top left to view each individual slide. So this is the overview of our presentation. After that, we can click on zoom to frame to zoom into each individual frame. And you can move towards the next frame like this. And the best part about using Prezi is that it gives your presentations such an amazing dynamic appearance that you can actually feel how they are structured and they look very, very appealing, especially if you have an audience where you know people are not going to look unless the content looks interesting. So once we've done that, I'm going to go back to the home section by clicking on the overview button on the bottom and we can start our own editing. Now, if you want to do overarching editing, you can click on text and just add text anywhere. You can also click on each individual text section to alter that. You can also add shapes, add another story block as well, and then click on the more setting to add planet topic, page topics, animations, as well as notes for the presenter. Now, if you want to change something within the slide, simply click on the slide on the left. From here, you can delete images, and if you want to add your own, you can go on ahead and click on media, click on image, and then on the right, you will have some free images, and you can also click on upload over here to upload your own images. And you will also see some GIFs you can add, stickers, as well as icons that you can incorporate within your presentations. Once completed, you can click on present on the top right, and you can click on start presentation, and present with Prezi, like so. However, if you want to remove this bottom left icon of Prezi, you can go on ahead and upgrade to the premium version of Prezi. Now, the premium version starts at only $5 a month. This is for personal use, and you can see it has five credits for Prezi AI, and with the plus version for only $15 a month, you have unlimited Prezi AI credits as well. And you also have some amazing tools such as your smart branding, offline access, portable presentations, presenter views, presentation voiceovers that you can add, as well as remote presenting. Now, with that, you can also elevate your videos and infographics. To do that, you can go back into videos on the left, and from here, you can choose one of their free videos. So you can click on video presentation, import PowerPoint, or click on record video. Now, once you click on record video over here, you will be able to proceed with creating your video with Prezi. And you guys can see it will turn your camera on. You can proceed without the camera. And if you want, you can drag and drop your existing media on the right to add those videos into Prezi. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you are now able to use Prezi to elevate your content. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next video.